G'day guys, welcome back. It's a uh, swiping day today. So I'm going to do another swipe uh, similar to the icy snowy one that I did the other day. This one, I'll pop him up there. It's dry now, dried beautifully as you can see. Dried exactly the same as I left it. So yeah, really happy with that one. So I'm going to go again, but instead of doing the white swipe, I'm going to go with black. And I'm going to use my bits of paper towel that I made up because I've still got them left. Those of you that saw me do that video will know that I swiped with my little bits of paper towel. I'm going to pour my black in there. I'm just going to dip that in and I'm going to swipe. So that's what I'm going to do. So we'll get started. Um, so I'm going to, as I said, swipe with black and then I thought the purpley pinky tones would be nice. So I might do a whole series of these just to see if it gives me something new to do. <laughs> Let me know if there's colours you would like. So maybe I'll do like a black swipe over burgundy and gold. I think that would look nice. Um, maybe a black swipe over some turquoises. Um, a white over, hmm, I don't know, you guys let me know what you would like to see, what colours I should do. Now I'm going to put the spot on treadmill silicone into the black only. And I'm going to do three drops. Whoop, one, two, three. So I like using this. It's a pretty thin oil. I used to use dimethicone, but it's quite a thick sort of a consistency so yeah I mean they're all they, they will all give you cells if you can't get the treadmill silicone you can use the um, coconut hair, milk hair serum which has got dimethicone in it any in any sort of product that has dimethicone as the first ingredient on the back in the list of ingredients so that's the black we'll leave that there for a minute now the other colours, I'm going to just sort of ribbon them, mix them up, tilt um, and cover the whole canvas. Now the pouring medium is the same that I always use for swipes, well I prefer to use for swipes. I personally don't like using Floetrol for swipes um, because I get cells that aren't necessarily round, they're kind of just sort of wobbly and bobbly. But there are some things that I'll use the flow troll for, but I do prefer the um, glue and water. <laughs> so I've mixed 50% glue, it's the Elmer's glue oil, and 50% water. And then I've mixed one and a half parts of the pouring medium to one part paint. And the paint is the Montmartre acrylic, Studio Acrylic. So it just leaves a, the tiniest little mound. It's more of a pyramid, really. It's not even a mound. It just sort of a, it just sort of comes down and then it just sort of goes like that, like a little pyramid. Not sort of much of a mound, if that makes any sense to you. Righto, let's get this paint on the canvas. Might be a few little blobbies. I mixed this colour myself, and the container has been sitting for a couple of years. So it's got some dry paint in it. Oh, where else was that blob? Yeah, the paint gets all kind of dry and crusty around the edges. So I haven't done as much acrylic pouring as I used to, like with the COVID thing and that, you know, I haven't had my classes, so we haven't used as much paint as I would normally use. So it's, some of it's getting a little bit dry and crusty. Right, that's that one done. So I've got the... This is a plum, I call it plum. It's 50% purple and 50% magenta. So that's the plum. This one is just magenta. And I did add a little bit of water to it. I think I need to add a bit more. I don't know if you can see that. It's actually leaving a mound and I don't want it to. So I'm gonna add a little splash of water to that one. And just thin it out a little bit. If your paint's too thick, you'll get really small cells. Uh, so it's nice just having it a little bit more on the fluid side so that when your cells do pop up, 
they were able to sort of stretch and grow a little bit more so they're a decent size so and if you if you find that your cells are really big and sort of wobbly then your mix is too thin so it just takes a bit of practice write down what you do I like to weigh everything and then um, I know that I'm getting consistent results the magenta color is thicker than the other colors so I always have to add a little bit of extra water to my magenta it's just one of those colors that seems thicker you notice that some colors are thicker than others blacks another one that's thick so these have all been mixed as I said one and a half parts pouring medium to one part paint my black which is my swipe color I always mix a little bit thinner it's a two to one so it's two parts pouring medium to one part paint because you want your swipe color to glide across the top of the other colors nice and easily you don't want it to be too thick something in there so this is just a pale pink that I've made it was very lumpy as well the the old pink it's probably gonna have lumps in it I'm gonna add a little splash of water to that one as well I'd rather have them a little bit more on the thin side than the thick side you know because I can I like bigger cells I like big cells and I cannot lie did you sing along with me you know that don't you <laughs> you know I like big cells alrighty give that a good stir so there's no oil in these ones only what you saw me put into the black and that's enough you can however if you want to just put a, a couple of drops in your colors and not do the swipe color you could do either all right so that one's ready now I like to have my more pale color sort of on the top because it's going to react with the, the black. You have to have a light, a medium and a, and a dark, I think. And then just going to blend all of those together. And hopefully we'll get really pretty cells with a combination of three different colors. And I just like to sort of zigzag it little ribbons get it all on there we're going to tilt anyway it's all going to get blended and smooshed together so don't worry too much about what it looks like at the moment throw that away okay so now we just pick up the canvas and start tilting we want the paint to go we want the paint to go over the edges so that your sides are covered but don't want to lose too much if you lose too much and you end up with not enough paint on the surface when your cells come up there won't be any any um, paint left for them to sort of move around in so just um, so my three colors I did as I said I did um, did I tell you I did 80 grams of pouring medium and 60 grams of paint so that was the three colors if you need to work out what I how much I use this is a 40 centimeter or 16 inch canvas a blob of paint so yeah that's how much paint I used let's turn it around so we can get the other the other side done mm, yep that side's done Got my big push pins on underneath over the edges and done skis we are done alrighty come up my hands again it's very messy I've actually got a damp cloth here I'm just gonna wipe them <laughs> who wants a tickle right so there's more of the pink up here less of the pink over there I don't think it'll matter I might swipe I might bring that little bit of that pink down a bit I can see another see another blob 
unmixed paint. All right, we'll just shoo you out. There you go. It is best to get them out if you if you can. If you see a blob, don't worry about messing it up like that. It's not going to matter. You're not going to see that. Now I'm going to put that there. Right out. Are we ready? Ready, spaghetti. So I'm going to just going to put this here so that you can see what I'm doing. Make sure I put that there. I'll grab some more paper towels so I don't make too much of a mess. Like so. All right, so I'm going to put my black in here. So the blacks, as I said, it's even thinner. Pour that in. Might not need it all, so I'll keep some of it because I can use that again. I made up 40 grams of pouring medium and 20 grams of paint, which is in there. So, yeah, don't need very much at all. Probably get a few swipes out of that. So here we go. Work out where your centre is going to be. You don't have to do the centre. Um, for this particular design, I like to have the centre, but you've seen me do others where I swipe there and then down there and then there and then there and then there and then like do a, you know, a zigzaggy off-centred swipe. So, but for this one, I like to do it in the centre. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, you just want to get paint on one side. So just going to dip that in there. About a centimetre or so, half an inch. And then you can wipe the back of it off if, if you find you're having drips. But then this wet side is the side that you're going to put down like that. And then just drag it towards you like that. Whoops, I got a bit crooked. <gasps> oh. All right, now this is what I did last time to save my little pieces. I just snipped that off. There we go. You can just sit there because you're all wet and gooey. And then we'll do it again. Now I'm going to swipe that way. So I want the paint on this side. So we'll do that. Oh, I didn't go very centered, did I? Let's try again. See if I can go more centered this time. Now I can go there. I wonder how, see that's quite dark there might have had a little bit too much black on or uh, maybe it's a bit thick still maybe I need more water but let's see oh look there's a little gorgeous pink cell hello let's just keep going actually no let's do a little test we'll do a test at this stage just to see what size the cells are gonna go are gonna do so let's get the big boy out don't touch too close just oh, a little bit a little bit of heat, not much. To see what he's gonna do. Look at them, they're only little, they're only tiny. See over here where it's quite dark, we're not getting many cells in there. I think what I'm gonna do is, um, I'm going to just put this black back and I'm going to add just a touch of water. It's just a little bit on the thick side because my cells are quite small as you can see. I want the this black to glide over it a little bit more easier um, and not have that, that thick band there. So just add a little splash of water. It doesn't matter if you've still got the silicone oil in there. And I think I'll swipe over that again. I think I'll have to because it's a bit thick. And because the paint's a bit thick, like more of it's sticking to the paper towel, do you know what I mean? So it's, yeah, a bit thick there. All right, here we go. Let's try again. Pull that in. And hopefully that's better. Let's have another go, hey? So just wet the end. You don't need to have too much paint on there. And hopefully we'll see a bit more of the background come through. 
yeah see that one it's you can see the pink coming through there a little bit more I'm gonna put my scissors it's, it's a little bit tricky unless you actually start doing it it's a little bit tricky you don't know how much you know water to add I'm not going to put any more paint on that I'm just going to swipe again because it's I think it's just a bit thick there all right and then same with the other side I'm just going to do a dry swipe there with the black that I've already got this might not look it might not look the same as the others though because now it hasn't got much black over it so I may have to put more black on that and swipe again we'll see all right here we go love those little stripies that I get love them actually I won't cut that one and now this way I'm going to go this side so let's put the paint on this side I do like having that little bit of black through the center there see that one's quite it's quite light now I'm going to have to actually put a little bit of black on it just a bit just to make it look like the others and hopefully I can whoops what's going on there <laughs> alrighty so you get a different a different look as you can see depending on how much black you've got I love seeing the color the stripies underneath so I don't want too much color uh, too much black off we go again whoops I went crooked on the bottom see I was trying not to drip on here <gasps> never mind I need to give myself a little bit more room I'll fix that up with the next swipe yeah, so probably my black's probably still a little bit thick so I'm not putting very much on the edge there so most of it gets wiped off or swiped off how's it looking so far can't really tell can you until we get the torch out and uh, get those cells to come up now I'll go straight down here and fix up that little bit of a boo-boo that I did down there. Hopefully we get some really pretty cells coming up. Cut that end off. Yeah, my black's still a little bit thick. It's quite dark in the middle there, but again, I don't mind that. I don't mind having somewhere for the eye to rest. Whee! <laughs> I'm getting a bit wobbly. <laughs> If you swipe faster, you tend not to go wobbly. But if you go slow, well, if you're anything like me, you go a little bit slower and you tend to get the wobbles. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Up against, up against my tripod there. It's just there. It's like this far away from my canvas. Nearly done. Let's do this one. Okay. I'll just slice that top off. And we'll do the last little bit. Okay. Yay! Done! Yay! All right, let me clean up my mess. There we go. I don't like mess. I like to clean it up as soon as I've done it. Right, now, for the magic. Now, I don't think my cells are going to be huge because my black's probably a little bit on the thick side still. 
but that's okay. We can have little petite, beautiful cells. So put your flame on low, and I know it's really hard for you to see. I'm going to turn it off for a minute. I know it's really hard for you to see, but I'm about... Um, that far. I'm about that far from there to the canvas is about that far. Probably about a foot. Okay, 30 centimeters. But you can't see that. I mean, it probably looks really close, but I'm not. Turn it down low. And go, go, go. Here we go. Little circles. As soon as you can see it spitting, can you see it kind of making those little spits on there, little dots? As soon as you see them, stop and move on go to another section you can always come back see they will pop up so just give them time you can come back again and do another um, run over with the torch if you want more cells but just yeah, be patient don't go too close to begin with got a bit close there look these colors are so pretty and that's got a really really thin little amount of black over the top and they so they're popping up through that black black could have been a little bit thinner as I said could have been a little bit thinner but I am still getting cells up I'm just torching really gently yeah, I should have taught um, I should have popped the bubbles um, something I didn't do so I'm getting lots of little bubbly pops once you've done you know put all your color on and you've tilted then torch to pop your bubbles because there's no silicone in it yet but torch I, I forgot yeah I forgot but you guys do it what do you think is it pretty I want a few more cells here closer so you can see how they just jump out at you if you get too close um, but yeah just don't try not to go overboard I know it's fun and all but try not to go overboard and get too much it's nice it's nice having a little bit of negative space and a little bit of background whoops oh I got too close nice having background she says as she keeps torching So that's the difference when you swipe colors thicker you get smaller cells when you swipe colors thinner you get bigger cells because they pop up and there's not as as much resistance on the cells because the paint's thinner so they can spread more but those are really gorgeous I'm going to take you down for a close-up so that you can see what the cells look like they're really pretty and I love that stripy background it's so pretty around actually let me go and turn the big light off all right look at that stripy background isn't it gorgeous it's so pretty something about stripes and circles it just they just look so nice together now see all my little white dots bubbles popping that's because I didn't torch earlier because I just mixed up my paints so they were a bit frothy and uh, thinner paints tend to be more frothy than thicker paints as well. But uh, yeah, look at the cells. We've got colors inside colors. Look at the magenta. Oh, it's so gorgeous. The magenta and the black. So it's really pretty, isn't it? Now the cells will keep growing a little bit. They're certainly not going to be as big as that blue and white one that I just showed you. 
but uh, they'll grow a little bit more. So there you go, what do you think? You like that one? Oh, a reflection of my hands, you don't want to see that. <laughs> oh my gosh. So there we go, what other colours would you like to see? Definitely need to do some greens. Would you do a black swipe with greens? Or a white swipe with greens? Or maybe like a really dark teal over some turquoises and maybe lime what about that like a, a really dark greeny teal swipe over some turquoise and limes and things like that that would look pretty hey that magenta is really pretty and of course your colors all blend together so you get variations of the colors so nice i really love this corner here so pretty all right i'll leave it at that thank you ever so much for watching and uh, yeah let me know what colors we should try next we'll do a few of these just so that you can see um, and make my swipe color a little bit thinner next time see blacks blacks always thicker so even though a normal swipe color would be a two to one ratio you do have to add an extra splash of water with the blacks they're just so heavy righto thanks for watching you guys love you all take care stay safe I'll see you all next time. Bye.